Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Mofro's Reef. Well, here it is. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, I got bryopsis about four months ago, and I've tried and tried and tried to get rid of this stuff. I lowered the lights, killed the lights, um, magnesium, Kent Tech M magnesium. I've probably went through maybe I don't know, eight gallons of this stuff. I bring my magnesium up to 1600 to 1800 and then I couldn't get rid of it I, I almost had it dying off when you uh, when it gets weak it turns like a light green you can see it starts floating around and then when it's thriving it's like this dark green almost bluish type color and uh, I came close to getting rid of it a couple times man but for some reason it'll just uh, it'll be dying off and then it'll just get a foothold in and then once I tried raising my magnesium levels up to like 2200 and then it went from bad to worse the invertebrates don't like it that high I lost two of my uh, brittle starfish and when them die you don't know they die because they're underneath the rocks you're just leeching phosphate after phosphate into your tank and then I started losing some snails the snails started going my acro started going and then it everything was just kind of spiraling out of control so you got to be really careful if you're going to use this stuff to try to kill it and uh, like I said it's it's pretty hard to get rid of I've, I've heard stories of people getting rid of it but not me I've tried and tried but so now what I do is when it's getting overgrown like this I'll just go in and just pull handfuls of it out after one after another I'm not worried about it spreading around anymore because it's already has a foothold on everything it's just sad to see so anyways that's one of the reasons why I'm starting my new 205 build I've got that I've got the uh, what are them the little stationary snails vermilioth or something like that they're on every every rock Let's see if I can't zoom in on something so where you can see them they're like little hypodermic needles I mean you can't even stick your hand in the tank without hitting them them are pretty bad I got a couple uh, mana shrimp in here a couple gorilla crabs in here so the new system is going to not have any of this stuff anyways I made this video because I have a fellow YouTube briefer who had uh, had some algae in his tank and he couldn't identify it and I really couldn't see up exactly what it looked like but I'm pretty sure it kinda looked like this so hopefully he takes a look at this video and sees what he might have to deal with if you're not very very careful on how you try to eradicate this because I'll tell you right now there's nothing in the tank that grows faster by far and it is just uh, it's devastating you know I mean for as much time as effort as we all put into this hobby and we want our stuff to look good when you end up getting something like this it's just it's heartbreaking it really is it really is anyways like I said the good the bad and the ugly and that's the ugly till next time keep it clean and uh, peace